Hello everyone, so today I'm super excited because I am off to meet Georgia Toffolo. You may also know her as Toff, I've made declares. Oh my goodness, it's taking everything in me not to eat these right now. May the interview with Georgia commence. That's this so is just funny. so delicious. So today I'm here with the lovely Georgia Toffolo and you may have seen her on Made in Chelsea but she also won I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here Dude. which is amazing. You know you are the newest queen of the jungle which is incredible. <laughs> it still doesn't feel normal. I mean you were my favourite. Oh, bless you, darling, you <laughs> say that. What I w was wondering is did you do anything like to prep? Did you like do any like courses, like assault courses or anything? No. Or did you eat any odd foods? <laughs> like <laughs> I think I probably should have met with you before because you might have made me think twice of not doing uh. any courses. I remember on the first night I was lying in my hammock and I was so hungry. We'd been there for three hours, bearing in mind. And I, I was ravenous. Oh my goodness. I was thinking I could murder a pizza, give it to me. <laughs> and I thought in my head, like, are you gonna try and have a game plan? And I looked up at the sky and I thought, you can't have a game plan when you're this hungry. There's no way. So I just thought, be yourself. And, and that's what I did. So what were you like as a teenager? When I was 13, I had a few problems um, with the particular school that I was at. Yeah, there was a group of girls that were really quite unkind to me. Um, and I didn't really tell anyone. And I kind of kept it quiet until one day I said to my parents, like, it's got, you know, quite bad. And I was so fortunate that um, they moved me. So I moved schools and, oh my goodness, I cannot even compare the, the different really? ages. Honestly, wow. it was, I found happiness again and I enjoy going to school. Um, but yeah, when I was 13, I think it was so awful. I, I kind of uh, have blocked it out a bit and I don't like thinking about yeah. it too much, you know? Yeah. But um, yeah, so, so from when I moved, I was about 14, 15. And I just loved it. Yeah. I went to a boarding school. Really? Yes. So, wow. And I'm an only child. So, okay. Yeah, so it yeah. wasn't as though my parents like pat me off yeah, and were like, no. you're getting lost <laughs> in school. But I really wanted to go. Oh my God. I have always struggled with spots in my skin. And um, I remember going into the dining hall and I just was so, <laughs> I just felt so, I had no confidence whatsoever. And I remember thinking, oh my God, the boys are looking at my spots, the boys are looking at my spots. So for me, it was acne. Yeah. It was by far the worst. And to be honest, it's plagued me up until even like now I've had yeah. problems, you know, but it's a lot better as I sit here now. But yeah, so that would definitely be the, wor be the worst. So the hormones and the spots. So what would you say the best part for you about be being a teenager was? And the best thing was meeting my best friend, Amy. Aww. Like we shared so many amazing times together. Cause I think, you know, when you live, we shared a dorm. Oh, yeah. that's so cute. It's like a sleepover every day. Every yeah. day. And we are very different in some ways, but also we, we just used to have so much fun. So I think the best part of my teenage years were making my friends that I've even got now, you know? Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's been 10 years and there's no, there's no friendship like your school friends. No, definitely you know? not, yeah. Would you say that as a teenager you were nice to your parents? Were you close to your parents? Yeah, I've always been quite close to them, but I remember us really locking heads at some point. Mm. And um, they all say, like, you know, when I got to 18, there was a massive change. I do, I'm not blaming it on anyone, <laughs> but I do think it was those hormones. Yeah. Because I would even, you know, my granny and granddad are my everything. Aww. Like, honestly, I can't tell you, I love them so much. And even I remember, and I really hate myself for it, snapping at my nanny and saying, Oh, why are you doing that? Because my granny makes me, she always wants me to look nice and brush my hair. <laughs> and she'll be brushing my hair and I'll be going, get off me, get off. Yeah, I think I might have been a little bit abusive uh, sometimes. I think everyone goes through that phase of being a little bit, you know, moody and yeah. mood swings. Like one second you're up, one second you're down. I know why. I know. It's just like so frustrating, know. you know. And, and I think sometimes you don't even realise it. And then after you look back and you're like, oh. Yeah. Not my finest moment. Yeah. <laughs> what was the last thing that made you cry? Or what are things that, you know, always sort of like make you want to cry? Okay, I'm a real softie and I'm very emotional and I think that's great. Yeah, definitely. I think it's a really, really good thing. And I always say this to my male friends as well, not just girls. Yeah. It's good to cry. Yeah. Um, I'm the worst. I cried yesterday. You're going to think I'm absolutely barking mad. So my best friend calls me. She's working on a yacht abroad. And she went, I've been videoing birds to show 
Bertie, my granddad, Aww. because my granddad really, really loves birds and he's not very well at the moment. And I was like, oh my God, that is the sweetest thing. Oh, I I'd start ever. crying. Literally, I was like, how thoughtful. And I think because it was my best friend and my granddad, I was like, oh. it just made me cry. So anyway, <laughs> but I think it's good to have a little cry Yeah, sometimes. definitely. It shows emotional intelligence. That's Do you think it does? Yeah, definitely. I really like that. I'm going to project that from the rooftops. Cry right, if you cry. ever feel like it. It shows that you are emotionally intelligent, guys. Yes, nothing wrong with a little weep. No. <laughs> right, ketchup or barbecue sauce? Ketchup all the way. Sleep or eat? Oh, eating. Really? Yeah, I'd rather eat. I guess eating will give you energy. Right. Yeah. That's why. Good way of thinking. <laughs> Town or country? Oh my goodness, I don't know, because I'm a country girl who lives in London. Oh yeah! Oh gosh, I must say, I love, love London. I've got to be a town yeah. girl. Instagram or Twitter? <gasps> Do you know, I'm going to go for it, Twitter. Early bird or night owl? Oh, night owl. Pool or beach? Pool, don't like sand in my shoes. Do you know, when I was younger, I would only go on the beach wearing wellies, because I didn't like the sand. Really? Yeah, until I was about six. Coronation Street or EastEnders? EastEnders. Hills or trainers? Oh, oh. Trainer girl today, trainers. Mm. PJs or onesie? PJs, love my PJs. Jeans or tracksuit? Trackies, oh, comfort is key. Steak or sushi? Oh, big fillet steak for me. Oh, <laughs> uh, scone or scone? Scone. That's how I say it. Yeah, I say scone, yeah. And lastly, this is the controversial question. Yeah. Um, fries or wedges? Oh, skinny fries all the way. See, only two people out of the 14 I've interviewed have said wedges. I saw Jeremy Corbyn did. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That. And okay. I think Scarlett did as well. Did you? Yeah. I love a skinny fry. Same, like it goes with everything. Yeah, it so does. A bit of ketchup, even though oh. I don't like ketchup. But do you like ketchup? No. What about ketchup and mayo? Bit of a woohoo. I like mayo. <laughs> Stop. No. Oh my goodness. You wouldn't like a bacon sarnie at my house. I douse it in ketchup. I like bacon sarnies, but not with ketchup. Well, I have so. to do it without then. Yeah. <laughs> I have made you some different flavoured eclairs. So we have salted caramel and popcorn eclairs, raspberries and cream eclairs, and also chocolate eclairs. So just dig into whatever one you would like. Okay, I'm going to go for the chocolate. Thank you so much. That's okay. I love eclairs. Mmm. -hmm. Oh my goodness. Darling, this is delicious. Good, I'm so glad. The Bondi was so good on Bake Off. Oh gosh, you are so good. Thank you. You're going to have to teach me to cook something. I'm hopeless. This is just so delish. Thank you so much. So if you like this video, make sure to stay tuned for more interviews coming soon. And I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys. Anyone want an eclair? Mm. Toph was honestly so, so lovely and she exceeded all of my expectations. I felt like I could just talk to her for ages. I wish she was still here.